How's it going everybody? Scarf Charm Gaming here and today we are bringing you a really fun sandstorm team. Um, not your traditional sandstorm team. Um, obviously a couple Pokemon on this team don't fit. Um, but before I get into the team, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 300 subscribers and I would love to hit 300 before the end of the year. It would be awesome. Anyway, this is the team guys. Um, Dragonite, kind of bluffing, but it has a weakness policy, multi-scale. Um, always great to have on any team really. Uh, Kind of our main Pokemon here is Hippowden with the Smooth Rock Sandstream, giving you eight turns of Sandstorm. Um, yawn and Protect so that we can force to sleep if needed. We got Sand Rush Strigazolt, Sand Rush Strigofish. Um, basically, doubles their speed in Sandstorm, uh, which does take away from the Hustle and the uh, um, Strong Jaw, but you can give Strigazolt the Life Orb, uh, which means non Dynamax Bolt Break. Gets double plus the life orb damage. Um, and then you can choice scarf Draco Fish for a very strong Fish of um, We've got choice scarf Rotom with the trick and then for fire coverage. Then we got Tapu Bulu um, for grass fairy typing. The typing is really great. Unfortunately, it does not get any physical fairy moves. So that sucks, but um, it's still good. But that's the team, guys. Uh, Hippowden, pretty great. Draco Fish, Draco Zolt, Bun. Kind of predictable. Um, you could run Excadrill on this team as well with the Focus Sash. That's pretty good as well. But uh, yeah, let's jump right into these battles here because this is a fun team. All right, guys. So looking at this team, I really think we can just go the Fateful Three here. Um, I really don't see why we can't. And yeah, I think we're just going to do that. Um... This guy's team is pretty good. We'll have to see what they want to do. The Swampert is going to be a little bit annoying, but not too bad. All right, we'll put it to sleep. I have no problem with that. All right, and our opponent leads with Rotom, so this is great for us. So quite frankly, I just want to yawn um, because I imagine they're going to swap out here. I don't see them staying in. They, they do stay in, which is pretty impressive. And we're going first. Is just going for like a trick room or something? Will-O-Wisp, how are we faster? Um, quite frankly, I'm fine with the burn. I'm still trying to wrap my head around being faster. Um, okay, it has a legging tail and it'll trick it. Okay. Never mind. Okay, so they stay in. We hit the stone edge here, so this will do super effective damage, unfortunately, due to the, uh, yep, and here comes the legging tail. So it's a good thing we didn't switch. Um, there's the legging tail. Now they are asleep. Um, and they do have a Citrus Berry now, which isn't great for us, but this is a great time for us to switch in with, what, six turns left of, uh, well, let's take a look at our opponent's Pokemon here. Now, we do not want them to have the Rillaboom. Um, so really the better bet right now is Drake's ult. And so we will go into Drake's ult. All right, and Rotom is fast asleep, and we'll take Sandstorm damage, and then we can simply Max Wormwind here, um, and this should be more than enough to take it out, especially with us being Life Orb and Max Attack. Um, we are not, I mean, we're 252 speed, but we're not Max speed. We are adamant nature to do more damage. Um, most times when we run this. Uh, or at least you guys have seen in the past that I've run a more bulkier Drake Assault. And uh, since Weakness Policy is on the uh, Dragonite, there is no need. And we do take out the Rotom. Um, one reason for Dynamaxing was I really did not want to lock myself into... Uh, Oh, 
outrage. Which we may still end up having to do if they have a Dragonite. I don't know what Dragonite will entail here. Alright, so they have Rillaboom. So we did kind of predict this in a way. Um, luckily we have coverage for Rillaboom. Uh, we do have a Max Flare. We do have Max Airstream. Now Max Flare is stronger, but I do not want to hurt Draco Fish's, uh, Fish's Rend. Right, and so our opponent is going to Dynamax. This will ensure that we go first. Um, I don't really know. Oh, they might have. Uh, they might have Max Quake, um, but it won't be as strong thanks to the grassy terrain. So I would imagine we survive. All right, here comes our Max Airstream. Now we don't have Hustle, and that really doesn't do as much as I had hoped. And our speed does rise here. We're gonna lose a little bit of HP, so our opponent just goes for max darkness. Not a bad play. Um, but yeah, it's really not doing much. It does lower our special defense. Now they're gonna take some sandstorm damage, but uh, then they'll get the uh, HP back. Now I doubt they have a max guard. Um, I do doubt it. We're gonna go for a max form wind. just to drop that attack. And yeah, not quite enough to KO. Uh, we don't have a great matchup here. Now, if we were Hustle, we would have done more damage with that max uh, Airstream, but we're not. But we did get the attack drop, and uh, now they're gonna go for the max Knuckle, which is fine. And Drake's ult is bulky as ever. We will end our Dynamax here. Now this is one of our longer battles in a while. Um, we can go for a couple moves here. I really don't think these two are good enough. Um, Bolt Break, uh, the power is going to be doubled and it's stabbed, so we're going to go for it. I'm not 100% confident. So our opponent actually withdraws, so this will be interesting to see uh, what they're using here. And they actually go into Magna Zone, which is fine. We will break the Sash there, or the Sturdy, I should say. Now we do have Fire Fang, so we should be okay. We're going first. Interesting that our opponent wanted to swap out. And Fire Fang is just not quite enough to get the KO. Um, our opponent's going to use Flash Cannon here. Good move. Um, and Drake's ult does go down. Alright, so Sandstorm's gone, which is perfect. Because that means we can bring Hippowden back in and reactivate that Sandstorm. And there's really not a whole lot our opponent can do at this point. Uh, they can go for Flash Cannon, and that's about it. Alright, so they got the Kustap, or the Catsup Berry, Kustap Berry, whatever it is. Uh, goes for Steel Beam. This probably KOs, actually. Yeah, it definitely does. But they also take themselves out. Now, I don't know if that was the last turn of, uh... Ooh, they get a crit. Uh, probably didn't matter. A protect would have been kind of funny. Um, so the grass does disappear, so great timing by our opponent here. Um, the question is, will Grassy Glide be enough to KO? And I don't think it will be. 
Um, I do not want to hit Fish's Rent here. This will depend if they're Choice Scarfed or not. Now it is neutral because of our Dragon type. Um, and Outrage is just the best move to hit here. All right, and so our opponent goes for the Grassy, grassy Glide, and it does not KO, so we will hang on for the win here. That was actually a lot closer than I originally anticipated, but I never felt like we were out of control, and I think we played pretty well. So we get some double speed going, and pull off the win. This is an interesting team here. A big part of me wants to lead Dragonite, For potential sweeping purposes, I think we can run Dragonite, Draco Fish, and we can bring our Hippowden. I think, I think that's our best bet. I don't know for sure, but I think that's our best bet. We just cannot let Cinderace boost on us. Alright, so I guessed this kind of correctly, because I think... I think we can set up on this Rotom. Um, I imagine Trick or and or Volt Switch. Will or Will-O-Wisp, but we avoid, so... That's unfortunate for our opponent. Um, and we've pretty much just got to stab Max Wormwind to hopefully take it out. We shall see. And that might be the game right there. Yeah, I didn't even think of uh, the Will O Wisp. Sometimes I don't run it, sometimes I do. Right, sometimes it's a trick. Um, so that was kind of a misplay, but we luck out. And sometimes that's half of it. Alright, so we're going to go for the Max Wormwind here. And Rotom actually survives, so that's pretty pretty awful. Which means a Will-O-Wisp is coming. Oh, goes for the Volt Switch, activates our weakness policy. Alright, now we're neutral on that. Oof, I'm all over the place. Alright, if it's Cinderace. Alright, it's Kartana. Okay. We do have the Max Flare. However, I know that it is uh, going to be Focus Ashed. So I think our best bet is to weaken it. Alright, he's actually going to withdraw here. Probably back into the Rotom. Yep, back into the Rotom. That's a smart play. Um, Luckily, we didn't really fall for it. Um, they were probably predicting the uh, Max Flare. Um, and really, I just wanted to break that Sash and lower the attack. Um, so really, our own stupidity here kind of kind of helps us. Um, and I think this time, I just want to be fast. Um, and yeah, naturally they'll go for that. Now this is Stab. Um, maybe the better play was to still lower the attack. But we'll see. Um, I don't know if it has like Ice Punch or something. That would be a problem. Alright, Dra Dragonite hits the Max Airstream here. Oh, we, do good, we could do damage. I don't 100% know what they're going to go for. Uh, just a max strike. Uh, good move. Uh, luckily, I wouldn't say we planned for it, but it works out in the end. Now they are life orb, so they're going to take some damage here. Um, and we'll go for the fire punch because it's times four super effective. 
no guarantees that this KOs. But it does. Uh, who am I kidding? That thing's weak and it's times four. Alright, so now all that should be left, if I had to guess, is Cinderace. Garchomp, okay. As long as it's not Scarf Chomp, we are fine. And our opponent just cancels the battle. So it was not Scarf Chomp. And we were fine anyway because we had Hippowden and Jigglefish. So good win. Alright guys, I completely missed the uh, pick screen, and so I'm just going to Dragon Dance. I brought uh, Dragonite, Hippowden, and somebody, I remember. Okay, so this uh, Rillaboom is fast and used the Sword Stance, but we don't really care. We don't really care. Um, we just go for... A wing attack. I don't even know what our opponent's team consists of. So it looks like a Trick Room team. Um, I'm going to go for the wing attack. I don't want to... Uh, I would prefer not to... Dynamax just quite yet. Um, and whatever's coming in is not going to want to take this. Now they're probably expecting a Dynamax. Um, a grassy glide is not going to do much. Um, I can't believe I missed the. Okay, so they're just going to Dynamax. That's that's fine. Oh, now that might do some damage. Although we are multi-scale, so we should still somewhat be okay. However, this wing attack is not going to do much. Um, maybe a little under half. And the only reason I say that is because we are a little bit underpowered. All right, and he goes for a max guard. That's fine. Um, who did I bring? Is it, uh, okay, it's Drake Zolt. At least it's Drake Zolt. Um, <sighs> I'm not sold on Dynamaxing, because I just feel like we have a really good matchup here. That it doesn't really have a whole lot of moves that are effective. Uh, okay, so we ended up not doing half. Uh, G-Max Drum Solo is not very effective. That is a lot for not being very effective. Now, if we truly want, I think we have to now at this point. Um, and it's a little unfortunate. Uh, maybe we should have done that previously. I was hoping to wing attack would do more. It obviously does not. Um, they potentially max guard here. Um, that's actually a good play to max guard. No max card. They would have been smart too. But they didn't. And we'll get the KO. Um, and now we're times two speed plus one attack. We are a little low in the HP department. But we can work around that. Now we do not get any of the grassy terrain. So we actually did not pick our team here. Just a reminder to you guys, um, they're gonna go for the Trick Room, 100%. Um, yeah, obviously Max Airstream is just our best play. And there's the Trick Room. No shock to us. Alright, no more grass. 
Oh, we can stall out a turn. So we might do that. Alright, our opponent goes for Misty Explosion, and we actually survive. Now, we've seen this strategy before. Unfortunately, our opponent already Dynamaxed, so whatever they're bringing in as their Trick Room Pokemon is not going to be very strong. I mean, we can actually just stall out this Trick Room. Not with Dragonite, obviously, but uh, okay, so it's Draco Fish, so this is awesome. This is great. At least I think it is. They have three turns of Trick Room. They'll have two turns out. Yep, we can saw this out. Perfect. Um, obviously, Outrage is super effective. But we don't want to go that route. It doesn't matter. Fisher's Run should be enough to KO. Yep. And it is. And our opponent is blocked. And I'll go into Hip Out. With the Sand Stream. Now, Trick Room is still up, so we will protect. Just like that, there's the Ficious Rent, and now there should be one turn left of Trick Room. And we break any potential Slash, which I don't think is there. And we'll double check. One turn of Trick Room, seven turns of Sandstorm. Now, probably just damage is our best play here. And we actually go first because we're slower. So Trick Room actually uh, is not in our opponent's best interest. Uh, the Ficious Rend cannot KO us either because of the uh, Trick Room did not allow it to go first. Now we could protect just to stall. Sure, why not? Just, just to do as much damage as we can with the Sandstorm. There's the Ficious Rend. Alright, and they'll take some Sandstorm damage there. They're under half. This works out best for us. We've still got plenty of turns of Sandstorm left, guys. Um, so again, I have to apologize. I did not pick this team. Didn't even see what my opponent did. I uh, ran out into the other room quick to do grab something. I came back, and the battle had started. So my opponent probably not happy with me. But that's how it goes. Alright, and in comes Drickazolt. I don't know why I was thinking about Draco Fish in the back. Anyway, we got Drickazolt, we got an Outrage, that's game. Now we could go for uh, Bolt Break, and that would be just as fun, but Outrage is super effective. And obviously the guarantee. Thanks to our Sand Rush, we outspeed, no problem. Um, and we knew they weren't Sand Rush because they were a Trick Room team. And that'll be the battle. So we don't pick our Pokemon and we still win. I'll, I'll take that. Alright guys, so there were some of the battles. This team is pretty fun. Now, it doesn't always win. I ended up going 4-0 uh, and o with it. And that was enough for me. And I figured I'd uh, clip the best of those four. And show you guys. Um, wanted to show you a you can win without um, the sandstorm kind of gimmick, if you want to call it that, uh, with Dragonite. Um, and you can win uh, with a Paladin, which is great. Um, even if you make some misplays, you can you can kind of rebound. Um, that one battle did go a little longer and a little closer than I had expected, but thanks to the sandstorm, we do outspeed. Um, and then uh, the Trick Room battle was good because uh, we were able to stall out. Um, kind of some odd plays. We did not get to pick our team. Like I said, I got distracted when I went into the other room and did not come back in time. But I was like, ah, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up this uh, win to our opponent. I'm going to try and win. And uh, we ended up winning, so very cool. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the team. Uh, make sure you stick around for Thursday's video. I will release it on Christmas. Uh, that is the plan. Um, it will be an all-ice team. Not strictly just ice. There will be some dual ice types. Um... But it's pretty fun, 
and I'm enjoying it so far. Hopefully it uh, is good when I go to record some battles. But uh, yeah, that's this team, and uh, it's not it's not the best team, um, but we did get some wins. We did get some battles off. It's an interesting strategy, I think. Um, if Powden's great, it'll probably get banned at some point. Powden's really good. Um, yawn Protect is great because you can yawn. They're going to want to get their attack off. You protect, they can't, and they're instantly asleep. You swap out and then start sweeping. Um, really fun. Uh, but yeah, that is the team. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, other than that, let's uh, get that subscriber count up to 300. We are so close. We'd like to do that by the end of the year. And uh, with that, I will say, if you liked the video, leave a like. Got something you want to say, leave a comment down below, and I'll get to it when I can. I usually try and get to you guys within a couple days, sometimes busier than others. But uh, for the most part, try and get back to you. So enjoy hearing that feedback. And uh, with that, we'll catch you in the next video.